Now, totalitarianism isn't just a political ideology. It's a profound, insidious mindset that creeps into the hearts of men and women, convincing them that they have the right to dictate the thoughts, beliefs, and actions of others. People have complimented me on my bravery, which is something I'm not particularly comfortable with, because I don't think it's the right way of thinking about it. It's not how I think about it. I think, no, I'm just afraid of the right thing. It's not that I'm brave. I'm way more afraid of not saying what I have to say than I am of saying it. And the consequences of saying what I have had to say have been dramatic and sometimes very painful, as all, and also extremely rewarding, both of those at the same time. But I know perfectly well what the consequence of not saying what you have to say is, because I studied totalitarianism for 40 years. And in a totalitarian state, no one ever says what they have to say. You see, totalitarianism is born from the darkest recesses of the human psyche, from the same place that breeds hatred, fear, and the insatiable thirst for power. It starts with a deceptively innocent notion, the idea that a select few possess the ultimate truth, the absolute knowledge of what is right and just for society. And armed with this supposed truth, they seek to impose their will upon the masses. The reason that totalitarianism is total is because everyone in a totalitarian state lies about absolutely everything all the time to everyone, to themselves, to their wife and, or husband, to their children, to the other members of their family, to their friends, to their colleagues. It's the old Russian joke. They pretend to pay us and we pretend to work. Yeah, ha ha. Ha ha, till everyone starves. Very funny. And you think, well, does everybody really lie all the time in a totalitarian state? And if you ask that question, the first proper response to that is, you wouldn't ask that question if you knew anything at all about what you were talking about. Because the evidence is pretty damn clear. But what these totalitarians fail to grasp is the inherent complexity of the human soul. We are not mere puppets, easily manipulated by the strings of ideological dogma. No, we are beings of profound depth, with minds that hunger for exploration and hearts that long for genuine connection. Totalitarianism seeks to shackle these noble desires, to confine us within the suffocating confines of its ideology. And this bureaucratic infrastructure, hyper-developed in the Germanic way, was only part of the Stasi network in Eastern Germany. There were huge buildings devoted to the secret police all over Germany. Why? Well, one-third of the Eastern Germans were government informers. One-third. So that means if you had a family of six people, two of them were informing to the government. And so what did that mean exactly? Well, it meant they listened to everything you said, and then if you ever said anything that would be displeasing to everyone else who was lying 100% of the time, which would really mean anything that was ever true, even remotely, then you could be reported for that. And that wouldn't go very well for you, let's say. But also, if you were the person who did the reporting, well, then you'd get a reward. You know, it was very common in, in the Soviet Union, where there was a terrible shortage of apartments and people were crammed into these small living areas, because how much space does someone need after all when there's more important things to be concerned with? And one of the most effective ways to get a new apartment would be just to denounce your neighbor down the hall and get them sent off to the gulag. Totalitarian state is a state that's in the grip of the lie. And so what that means for each of us is that every time you lie, every time you lie, you're, this is the truth of the matter, Every time you lie, you've just allowed yourself to become possessed by the same tyrannical spirit that's at the core of the totalitarian state. And you might think, no, I'm lying. It's like, no, the spirit of the lie is making itself manifest within you. And you are participating in your own possession. That's what's happening. And so... I'm way more afraid of that 
History, my friends, is replete with the horrors of totalitarian regimes. The 20th century alone witnessed the rise of ideologies that promised utopia but delivered only misery and despair. But let us not be blind to the fact that totalitarianism is not confined to the annals of history. It lurks in the shadows of contemporary society, disguised as righteousness, masked as progress. It whispers in the ears of those who believe they know better, convincing them that they have the right to silence opposition, to crush diversity of thought, and to impose their rigid worldview upon the rest of us. The antidote to this poison, my friends, lies in the unwavering defense of individual liberty, the relentless pursuit of truth, and the courageous embrace of genuine dialogue. We must recognize that the essence of our humanity lies in our ability to think, to question, and to challenge the status quo. It is through the clash of ideas, the respectful exchange of perspectives, that we truly progress as a society. So let us stand firm against the encroachment of totalitarianism, not with violence or hatred, but with the unyielding power of our intellect, the strength of our convictions, and the boundless compassion of our hearts. In the face of tyranny, let us be beacons of light, illuminating the path towards a future where freedom reigns supreme and the human spirit soars unfettered by the chains of totalitarian ideology.